We're going to do something a little bit more complicated this time and go backwards. We're going to have the pounds per day setting, which you often would in a water plant, and we're going to estimate the dose from the flow rate. A water plant operator is adding 15% sodium hypochlorite for disinfection. The chemical feed rate is set at 200 pounds per day. The flow meter reads 6.2 million gallons per day. Estimate the dose in milligrams per liter. So since I'm doing a chemical feed rate problem, I know that I need my pounds per day formula. So let's just go ahead and get that. Pounds per day is going to be equal to the milligrams per liter of dose times the flow rate in million gallons per day times 8.34 pounds per gallon. And all of that gets divided by the percent available chlorine. Okay percent available. So let's start plugging in what we know. Well they gave me the actual feed rate. We know that this is 200 pounds per day. Milligrams per liter is unknown. The flow rate is 6.2 mgd. We're going to multiply that by our conversion, 8.34 pounds per gallon, and divide by the percent available. And as I said before, if you just think about this as dollars and cents, so instead of having 15%, uh, this actually needs to go in as a decimal. So it was 15%, now I've got 0.15. Okay, so you just move, move the decimal over two places. Everything's in there. I only have one unknown, which means I can solve the problem. But I have a whole bunch of stuff that's over here with my milligrams per liter that I need to get rid of. So I have two choices, really. I can uh, simplify the math as much as possible over here first, uh, and then rearrange, or I can start moving things around. Let's uh, simplify as much as we can. And if you remember, Polly makes donuts after school, okay? Whenever I can do things in that order, I have to do them in that order. This is parentheses and powers, multiply, divide, add, and subtract. Okay, so I've got some multiplication that I can do here and some division that I can do uh, before I really start moving things around the equation. So let's just bring down this side, 200 pounds per day. And uh, I'm going to still have my milligrams per liter, but I can multiply those two things on the top. So I'm going to take my 6.2 Take 6.2 and multiply it by 8.34, and I fi find that is uh, that is equal to 51.708. Okay, I'm going to divide that by 0.15. Okay, we're going to keep moving down. Now I've got 200 pounds per day on this side. And I can do this division step. Now technically, when I see a, a line like the one that we have, it's as if there was just a big parentheses around everything on the top, which means I would have to do this stuff on the top first. But the distributive property of multiplication and division says that, yeah, these two things are multiplied together and I'm dividing, but I'm actually allowed uh, under the distributive property to do this piece first. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and bring that down. And what I end up with is milligrams per liter, which is my unknown, and I'm going to divide 51.708 by 0.15. So we're going to do that division on the calculator, and we get 344.72. I still don't have the milligrams per liter by itself, so now I need to start rearranging the equation a little bit. And if you remember from our previous example, I can do anything I want, so I can do anything, but I have to do it to both sides. Okay, that's the only rule. And uh, I guess number three, and these are kind of in a different order from the last time, is uh, just to remember to do the opposite. Okay. So here's what I mean by that. I'm going to go up and get a different pen color. So here's what we mean by that. Here, the three, 344 is being multiplied by the milligrams per liter. So if I want it to go away, I need to do the opposite. 
and the opposite would be to divide. Okay, so when I get in here and I divide by 344.72, what's going to happen is these two things are going to cancel out because I've got one divided by the other. But since I did it to one side, I have to go back and do it to the other side. So here is my 344.72 dividing. And what I'm going to end up with is my answer in milligrams per liter. So this is 200 divided by 344.72. And it looks like my dose at the treatment plant is about 0.58 or 0.6 milligrams per liter of chlorine.